Thailand has certainly had its share of political turmoil in recent years, but despite that, trade relations with a number of countries have never been stronger, Australia being one such. It's 10 years now since the uh, Thailand-Australia Free Trade Agreement was installed, and it's been a great success. So today, to follow up on that anniversary, a meeting at the Shangri-La Hotel in Bangkok of the Australia-Thai Business Forum. The positive benefits of TAFTA so far were acknowledged by Thailand's Minister of Finance, His Excellency Mr. Sommai Pasi. TAFTA has eliminated the majority of tariff and has opened up trade and investment opportunities between Thailand and Australia. So our, since then our export to Australia have increased significantly threefold. And our import from Australia have doubled. You know, uh, this is a very good relationship as compared to other countries. Many academics and business owners in Thailand also echo the attractiveness of business investment in the kingdom, even in the face of challenges. Uh, Thailand is rated very well for ease of doing business in the region. Uh, it's rated 20, I think 26, um, which is the highest in, in Southeast Asia after uh, Malaysia and Singapore. It also has very good linkages uh, into ASEAN and also into North Asia as well. The Thais are very resilient. The Thai people themselves work actually work hard and um, the economy tends to keep going. It, it, it gets over its lows pretty quickly. Um, just because people get on with it, they get on with, with, with working. The main focus of the Australian Thailand Business Forum was about looking forward and strengthening links between Thailand and Australia in the future, within TAFTA and beyond. We see an opportunity for Australia and Thailand to, to chart a new strategic direction and inject higher ambition to our bilateral free trade agreement. We want to work together to develop policy settings to foster real commercial opportunities for firms, not just in TAFTA, but through regional economic integration. Our trade and investment relationship has the potential to complement Thailand's efforts to drive its economy further. Changing global economies and the emergence of ASEAN Economic Community has had a huge impact on Thailand and Australia's relationship in terms of trade and investment. But it was suggested that this is a reason to revitalise TAFTA rather than let its relevance and past success slip away. But when you look at how the world has evolved since 2005, there have been a lot of head-turning moments when it comes to trade. And we're all human, we all like to look at the shiny new bright object rather than sort of the, the dull but worthy one in the background there. You'll pick it up and you look at what's bright and shiny and new and that's what attracts your attention. And that's why the challenge of Australian and Thai trade negotiators and Australian and Thai businesses is to look to reinvigorate TAFTA. According to the latest findings of Australia's International Business Survey, which provides insight into the nature, needs and concerns of the country's small manufacturing businesses exporting to Thailand, TAFTA is not currently fulfilling its potential. Out of 352 businesses that exported to Thailand, just 25% used the agreement. Again, one in four. 44% said they were uncertain about TAFTA's applicability to their business, 20% chose not to use it, and 11% didn't know it existed. What is perhaps certain is that the future strategy for trade and investment success between Thailand and Australia goes beyond TAFTA. Free trade agreements, uh, when they first come into, into being, uh, are of, often have what is called a head-turning effect. And that's what happened with TAFTA. But that was 10 years ago we had a head-turning effect. We need now to find other ways to get business people in Australia and business people in Thailand to have another look at the enormous untapped potential in this commercial relationship in investment as well as in trade. 